weight in the water I'm talking So when you go in the air, standing here, there's air has weight too. And it's pushing down on you this minute. But you're always a creature, so you just, you're used to it, your body adapts to it, you don't feel it. But it's there. So in space, there isn't any air. It's a vacuum. And what I'm doing here is, this is a special kind of vacuum that's just going to suck all the air out of this chamber. And the marshmallow, it the marshmallow. You think implode, which means what? Collapse. Collapse on itself. Is that that's what you think will happen? If I'm releasing the weight on the marshmallow, I'm taking away the weight of the air. What do you think will happen? Oh, it won't float because we still have gravity. It will continue see it to have some. I'm sorry, it's not going to float. Yeah. It'll get bigger because the gas inside, instead of having the air pressing it together, that is gone. So the gas will expand, and you or the air, and right, it'll we all agree a marshmallow has lots of air, right? And that's just, I didn't, did you guys touch this? All right, just to prove it's just a regular marshmallow, it's just supersized, okay? Well, everyone's been touching it. Talk to your dad. He wants to let you eat it after he's had everyone touching it. Actually, it's not gonna hurt you except whatever germs are on our hands. All right, so I'm gonna suck the air out and look what happens to the marshmallow. Awesome. And what's happening is you're taking the weight off. Think about it. If you just put a, if it's sitting on the counter here, if I put a weight on the marshmallow, what would happen? It would get kind of squished. Well, it's kind of the same thing, only I'm removing the weight of the air. And the air is up now. Do you see it kind of went down? Yeah. The cover of a marshmallow, gas can go in and out. So instead of having to explode like a balloon, if you fill it too full, it will pop. The marshmallow kind of lets the gas escape when it gets to a certain level. So if I, now, I've turned it off so it's not sucking it out, but the vacuum is still in there. When I release and put the weight of the air back in it, what do you think will happen? Imploded. Yeah. Imploded. Why? Because the difference, the sun, like the sun difference is going to implode it. You ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's because all the gas that used to be holding it up, that was in there initially, the air, it we sucked like all that out. Before. It looks like a brain. We sucked it all out. Bushy. Now it's still it's still soft. It's not like freeze dried. It's not solid. Because there's still some air and there's some moisture. And there's the creature itself. But that's because we sucked all the air out of it and then we put the weight back on so there was nothing to hold it up. And it just went went that way. And you could eat it, it could be a little like a stale marshmallow. It tastes the same. But okay, what would probably damage an astronaut first is that his blood would flow. Does anybody, have you, any of you guys heard of a disease called the bends that divers get? Well, it's basically divers who go very deep in the ocean, so they've got a lot of water pressure. It condenses the gases in their bodies that get pushed together. So it's gone. Well, what happens is if they come up too quickly, the gas explodes. I mean, expands too quickly and there's not time for it to just kind of oh, ease out of your body. You get bubbles in the blood. Yeah, I've heard careful. that. I think. I've heard that. You can touch it, but it's, it's balanced here, so just okay. be careful. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> so you do it slowly. Remember I said the, the marshmallow is stuff, can, the gas can go in and out. So are our bodies. So for a diver, what they have to do is come up slowly. So it gives it time for those gases to, to normalize and get, get bigger and slower so they come out. if you don't, you'll turn into a person. That's right. Well, okay, what I'm going to do, if you want, oh, very important. Put your finger in there and tell me what's the temperature. Anybody else want to try? Just to prove I'm not lying to anybody. It's basically cold water. It's tap, tap water, right? Oops. Okay. All right, if I wanted, I told you I wanted you to boil water, how what would you do to make it boil? Huh? You do what? <laughs> how? Heat it up. Exactly. And why does that make it boil? You know? Because by heating it, you're making the gas expand, right? If you put a heat balloon in the sun or heat it up, have you ever done it with a Mylar balloon that got kind of flaky? If you hit it with the hair dryer on high, it'll reinflate because the gas really? expands. I need to try that. So that, you have to try it. So that's, 
That's why it does with, with heat, it expands. This isn't gonna be hot, that water was cold, right? All right, here what we're doing to make the gas expand is we're removing the weight of the air and it'll boil. Now this will take a minute so you gotta have a little patience. It takes a little longer than to make the marshmallow blow up. But what you, if you can, when it first starts, you'll see little bubbles at the bottom and then it just boils ferociously. So it does take a couple of minutes. Hey Zoe, you and Philip, it's time to do the space thing. What? What? The time. Okay, yeah, we're about. There we go. Just a second. Okay. So that will be. What do you think would happen when I take the lid off? It'll be hot. All right. Before you go, the one thing. I'll, so, what do you think the temperature of the water is now?